Hi, my name is Dr. N. Edward Duran, and I'm a uh, fertility specialist at Pathways Fertility in Atlanta, Georgia. I want to take a few minutes to talk about eShure. So eShure is a contraceptive device that is implanted into the fallopian tube. There are 750,000 women in the United States that have had eShure implanted. And many patients that have had eShure implanted are suffering from um, conditions such as pelvic pain, heavy menstrual periods, headaches, brain fog, joint pain, rashes, hair loss, to, uh, tooth decay, in addition to other conditions like chronic fatigue and autoimmune conditions. And starting about uh, five years ago, I started removing the issuer devices from patients and have seen dramatic improvements from patients. So I've to date have removed the issuer from over 300 patients and it can be done laparoscopically, robotically, and with a minimally invasive technique. It does not require a hysterectomy. You can effectively remove 100% of the eShore device. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes to do under general anesthesia. You go home the same day and you recover in one week. Patients start to feel better right away. And um, there is even the opportunity for some patients that have eShore regret where they have had the eShore implanted but now hope to have another baby where you can remove the eShore device and reimplant robotically using microsurgery techniques the remaining healthy portion of the tube so that they can conceive naturally. The important thing is that if the eShore is in place you should not attempt IVF because oftentimes a portion of the eShore device which is very sharp and made of metal is sticking into the uterine cavity and can puncture the water bag of the amniotic sac of a pregnancy and lead to a miscarriage. Eshore is made of 55% nickel and 20% of women are allergic or hypersensitive to nickel. So it's important to understand that Eshore is a foreign body that your body can have a systemic reaction to and it can safely be removed without a hysterectomy.